Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today I want to do a quick walkthrough on a Jayco Eagle 284 BHOK, that's bunkhouse outside kitchen. What I love about this unit is it's HT towable, half ton towable. Anytime you see the HT on a Jayco, that tells us that it's a little bit lighter weight. You can pull it with a well-equipped half ton pickup truck. This guy's a little bit less than 35 feet long and around 8,500 pounds. So it's not a super heavy trailer, but it has a lot of features I want to show you. So let's get started, okay? I love to point out this cool lighting in the front of these Eagles. This is marine grade LED lighting that goes up either side. It's kind of hard to see in the bright sunlight out here. You also have these LED lights right here in front. We can switch them on and off independently right up there. So at the campground, you can turn those on and off as you wish. Two nice 30 pound propane bottles up here. And of course, an electric tongue jack uh, to make hooking and unhooking from your tow vehicle super easy. It's worth always pointing out that Jayco does the vacuum bond approach to making this fiberglass wall, which virtually eliminates the possibility of delamination. Don't want delamination to happen ever on your RV, and since Jayco's been using this process, you just don't see that anymore. Notice we have side marker cameras as well as a rear view camera in the back of the coach. So going down the highway, you can get a straight shot camera view down each side as you're traveling. Check out the nice, clean, storage area in here that goes all the way through. We don't have a lot of wires dangling down. These are motion sensor lights. So when your arms are full, and they usually are when you're loading this thing up, lights are gonna pop on for you. Over here we have our utility bay. All of our hookups are in here. We've got our spray port here, hot and cold to wash off the, the pups and your sandy feet before you go in when you're at the beach. All of our controls are nested in here together, nice, neat, clean. Our dump valves down here. And then down here, we can run our cordage right up through here and it allows us to close this storage bay door, keep the critters out and the weather out, but we can still run our cords up through here and keeps it nice and neat. Coming around here, detachable 50 amp power cord, right here, access to our water heater on the outside right here. Roof ladder up here, and you can see that we have our rear view camera already installed up there. You'll get a monitor that goes up in the dash of your truck so that you'll be able to see straight down behind the coach, again, either side as you're traveling. Here's what's special about this model. Check this out. We have an access door right here. A lot of folks like to, uh, to con uh, kayaks along on trips, long items. It's difficult to find a place to store them. Here's your answer. This goes all the way into the kitchen area inside this coach. So you have access from the outside to store long items in here. And you may be looking at this and say, well, that's great, but wish I could put a bike or something in there. This isn't tall enough. Got your answer and I'll show you inside. This actually hinges up and out of the way. So you can put a bicycle in here and then cinch it down right here for travel. Really makes for flexible storage space and addresses a problem that a lot of us have when we wanna take something, like I said, like a kayak along on a trip. That is cool. For those of you that like to cook outside, this is pretty cool. We have our gas cooktop right here, sink right here, and notice that this is all metal, all right? There's no laminate, there's no carpet in here to get nasty. This is easy to keep clean and wipe down. If you get it wet, wipe it down, very durable. In here we have outlets, multiple outlets to plug in a blender, your margarator perhaps, whatever you want, coffee maker, coax cable for a television hookup if you wanna put one in here. And of course we have lights in here too. 
You see these little ports often, and I've talked about them before, but it's a little Bluetooth Furion port where you can put a Bluetooth uh, uh, speaker on here and then stream music through that. You can also take it to the beach with you, charge your phone, and it's a flashlight too. Utensil drawer here for grill accessories and so on, and then drink refrigerator here. It's kind of hard to see, but we have nice blue lighting up here. Of course, these nice LED lights here. Nice thing about cooking out here, you can keep the heat and the smell out here. I like cooking inside, but man, when we're frying bacon or frying fish or something, keep the heat and the smell out here. This is your answer. But wait, there's more. Want to have a TV? Boom, right here's a mounting location for a television. You can put it right here and your TV can just live here. We have our TV hookups and this goes way up. So you have storage room up here. If you don't want to use this as a TV mounting location, this is like bonus storage that goes way up here. So you can put bag chairs, taller items in here, storage that you don't often get on a unit this size. Notice we have two entry doors. We have one here that's going to step up into the bedroom and we have our main entry right here. Always brag about these steps because they're worth bragging about. These are Moride Step Above Steps. Moride is the brand. Super lightweight. They're easy to use. It looks like this thing would weigh hundreds of pounds, but it doesn't, right? So here's what I love about it. It's not going to come crashing down on my head. These are adjustable if you're on uneven ground, so you always have a firm contact point on the ground. When it's time to travel, tuck it in like this. That's the travel position. Close the door. When it's time to use the steps, simply pull them down. Again, easy to do, like so, and we're ready to go inside. Nice big awning out here with an embedded LED light strip underneath. Really pleasant lighting outside here. Love that feature. Have a little courtesy light under the step here, which won't show up in the bright daylight, but that's handy. Uh, that lights up this space under the step at night. I'm going to do a quick wardrobe change since it's a union requirement. Once I do these long walkthroughs, I'm going to do a quick wardrobe change. Then we'll go in and have a look on the inside. Hey folks, make sure to give us a like and subscribe below for content just like this. And make sure to check back here often for a lot more content. Let's get back to the video. So now here we are inside, and I'm going to go ahead and talk about this because I was just bragging on this feature. We can lift this up and latch it right here out of the way, like that. Now, check it out. We have all this storage room in here, okay? I can even get back here, right? Open this from the inside or the outside. Bring my kayak in here, latch it down here, bicycles in here we can secure them there how cool is that then when you get everything at your campsite get everything unloaded we want to convert it back to a bunk drop that down and this down and now we're back to a bunk now we still have storage under here i bet the dog would love to sleep under there if you have kids they're gonna this is gonna be their secret hideaway that's a cool space any way you slice it so we have a bunk here we have a bunk up here nice thick cushion so it's comfortable to get up here and you notice you got some cabinetry up there at the headboard also got a light in each bunk here and of course we have our ladder makes it easy to get in and out little shelf here really like that feature so coming back around here we have a beautiful television nice entertainment center of course we have our fireplace here and it's thermostatically controlled you can set it at a temperature um, of your choosing and you can change the color schemes down here to suit your taste 
talk about this often, but it's a space heater and it's an effective space heater for an RV this size. Once you've paid your nightly fee at a campground, use their power source to heat your RV instead of burning through your own propane. You've got an optical drive here and different zones that you can program for your entertainment needs. There's an HDMI in and a USB port here. So kind of everything in one right here. Got some little storage compartments on either side and up here already uh, ready to plug in an HDMI for a component for your stereo or television. It's an Insignia brand TV so it's a quality that's a quality brand. It's a Best Buy brand. If you want to adjust the viewing angle just give this a little pull and now we can pull it out. See the arm back here like so. We can articulate it around to this side, this side. You might want to angle it like this over toward the dinette area. Notice back there there's storage behind the TV too. So yes if you still have DVDs you can store them back there. Pretty neat. And then up on top here really deep storage. You can put linens, uh, what have you up there. This is the modern farmhouse uh, decor option really nice looking as you can see it kind of brightens up uh, this RV it brightens up the space makes it feel uh, even bigger than it is nice refrigerator compartment up here and refrigerator down there and oh man it's working make ice cubes in there that's for sure this is a gas electric fridge so this is operating off propane going down the road or if you don't have hookups as, soon, as long as you have it set on auto, as soon as you plug it into shore power, electrical power, it's going to switch to electricity and quit using propane. Nice little microwave up top here. We've got, this is vented and it's vented to the outside. So if you're frying bacon and you want the smell to go out and tempt the neighbors, hit that fan motor. It's vented, it's taking the heat and the smell outside the camper. Got a light too under here. Three burner cooktop with these cool lights behind these knobs. And a nice little oven. Big enough to make pot pies, pizzas, small turkey maybe. Candetry up here. You hear me brag about it often. Again, because it's worth bragging about. See the screws up in there? Jayco screws these styles together. They're glued and screwed and then the whole cabinet unit is screwed to the framing members of the RV instead of staples like a lot of Jayco's competitors. This is a solid piece of maple. It's not OSB or particle board with tape on it to make it look like real wood. It's real wood. Nice deep storage up here. And hey, we forgot to turn a light on here, Brian. There you go. Lighting uh, above the sink. Nice double basin, stainless steel sink, residential style right here. I right? can get all the way around, rinse it out. It's kind of like we have at home. Full extension drawer glides. Always like to uh, brag about these. They come all the way out. A lot of times the cheap RVs, they come out that far and you're digging back there to get stuff out. These are ball bearing, full extension drawer glides. Nice quality. And check this out under here. I'm, I'm guessing the trash can probably goes there. We have a uh, cutting board insert that goes up here in the sink. And this is a strainer. And they even give you a place to stow it right under there. So like that. Well, it's time to dry your dishes. Put them on there, they drip dry. When you don't want it anymore, you always need a place to store stuff in an RV. It goes right back down in there. All right, handy. Coming back around here, we have a nice spacious dinette. Okay, one, two, three, at least four people, maybe six if you really like each other, could sit around here, eat together play cards. Uh, I did a video, a how-to video on converting dinettes to 
a sleeping position, and this one's no different. We have two posts under here, pop them out, this drops down, spread the cushions out, and we have a nice long 74 inch uh, bed for another sleeping position. Storage under here, and already outfitted with a tub to put stuff in. Put your stuff in there, slide it in there. It's the little things that you don't think of. A lot of manufacturers don't think of this. You end up putting stuff under there. It it gets all the way to the outside wall and you can't get to it. Pain the, the button to get to it over here. And notice, there's no carpet in here. We're getting rid of all the carpet. That's the place that gets worn and nasty the, the quickest, is right under the dinette. There's no carpeting. Love that. And nice recliners here. Yes, they do recline. Give this little thing a tug. Great view for the television and the fireplace. Drink holders here. Remotes go there. Light switch here. Really comfortable, I have to say. Really nice living space. So again, this isn't a huge RV. It's a pretty small RV, but it's livable. There's lots of elbow room because I would call this an open floor concept. Everything's accessible. Your bunks are here, entertainment center. Brian's backing right up to the sink in the kitchen. It's all open. So if you got two couples, three couples in here, we could be moving about, not be on top of each other. Really nice, nice light fixtures up here. Love this, the American Eagle. Yes, you can replace it with a picture of your choosing. Most people like the Eagle, though. <laughs> See this little guy here? There's one outside and there's one here. It's a Furion pre-wired Bluetooth speaker port. Pop that thing in there, which we sell separately, and you can stream music through this speaker when it's time to go to the beach or go on a day hike. Pop it off there. One of these times I should actually get one and show that, shouldn't I, Brian? <laughs> uh, it's great, though. It's a charger. It's also a flashlight. And, uh, as I mentioned, a Bluetooth speaker. It's pretty good sound quality, too. I'm a little bit fussy with my music. It's a nice quality speaker. Sell those separately. Coming into the bedroom, you'll notice uh, nice accent lighting uh, above each nightstand. And there's plenty of room on either side for perhaps a CPAP machine. Uh, one of my wife's pet peeves is if there's never a place to put a glass of water, I want to have my glass of water next to the bed. Boom, right there. There's plenty of room to do that. Reading material and so on. And you notice that little green light up there. So we have USB charging ports as well as household current there, like I said, for CPAP machine. Nice lighting up above and some storage on top here. We've got garment storage here and then there's shelf storage on the other side next to the bed. You'll notice the second AC is up top here. And then circling back around here we have more storage yet. Pretty decent storage, deep storage. So uh, shelf, shelf, uh, netting here to secure some items, and then we have three drawers down below. So, uh, when my wife and I go camping, all my stuff goes in there, and she gets everything else. Right. Just kidding, honey. Okay, television uh, mounting location right here. If you want to have a TV in here, boom, here's the place to go. Jayco. Uh, marks this spot. It's reinforced to, um, to to be able to mount a bracket here and we have our hookups up top here. Your coax cable, power, uh, mount the TV up there and you're good to go. Alright, light switch. You see these little guys, temperature sensors, so that uh, this unit can maintain equal temperature throughout. This is testing the temperature back in your bedroom. Really love this. We've got a nice big slide so when this is out it transforms it in here. But here's the kicker. Something that a lot of people don't think about is what's accessible when the slide is in. When this slides in it comes about to my right foot. Okay? That means I can still access all the kitchen, 
the refrigerator, TV, the bunks, and the bathroom. So, well, hey, and we didn't talk about this either. Um, check this out. Little coat closet when you come right in the door here with hangers up here. Nice deep uh, coat closet. Up here we have our J Command Center. We can control all the elements of the RV right here, and we can put this application on our phone and do everything that you can do from here on my phone. You have light presets here. You notice these are the tank levels, which is what it defaults to. Of course, it shows they're all empty. That's correct. Our water pump, electric uh, heater, gas heater, the motors, so we have awning, uh, stabilizing jacks we can control from in here and then slide one and it goes back to the top so if we come down here to slide one and we want to retract it i'm going to mash down on the retract button and here we go in it comes really quiet it's not creaking and popping and squeaking and groaning. It's great. Nice smooth slide motor. Boom. And you'll hear that at the end. A lot of people freak out like, oh man, I broke it. You didn't break it. That's normal. But check this out. Now it's completely in. All right. We can't access the bedroom, but we have a secondary door from the outside if we need to get to the bedroom. Everything else here is accessible. I can cook. I have access to the sink, the refrigerator, the television. Just pull over to the rest area and we want to have lunch. I don't have to push the slide out. Seat the family here, make some sandwiches, have lunch. Access the bathroom behind you where Brian's standing and the bunks behind there if you want to take a nap. And we never even have to push the slide out. So whether it's this model or any other model you're thinking about, think about what's accessible when the slide or slides are in. Some of the fifth wheels and even bumper pulls have multiple slides. Sometimes they're opposing slides and if the opposing slides come in from either side it may block off a lot of what you could otherwise access inside the RV. Something to think about. So let's check out the bathroom in this unit. Nice sized bathroom. Well, it's counter space. Again, Mrs. Drudge would like this. Lots of place to put your hair dryer and your hairspray and all those goodies. Nice deep medicine cabinet. And I really mean it goes all the way to the wall. So lots of room for, uh, you know, the toothbrushes and all those necessities. Have a plug in here for that obligatory hair dryer. I don't need that anymore, but some people in my family do. Um, nice lighting up here. And we have this really cool fan up here that is designed so that you don't need to put a vent cover over it. It can't rain in this. So, uh, as my uh, sales colleague says, for taco night, need the fan. There you go. And you don't need to cover it. It can't rain in there. Nice sized shower. Again, I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of room to move around in here. You got a nice skylight for natural light. And if you're tall, even if you're six, eight, fit in here grab bar here and we have some storage under here as well this sort of has, has an inordinate amount that would be a good amount of storage for a travel trailer that's just 35 feet long so nice functional bathroom um, again what I love about this among other things is it's so flexible we have the sleeping space up here you've got this that converts into sleeping space separate uh, queen uh, bed up here. And of course, this is a pocket door if I didn't show you before. So mom and dad have all the privacy up here. It's big enough to be functional if you have guests, but even if you don't, that's not a huge trailer. It's half ton towable. That's what HT stands for. So with all the sleeping positions, plenty of room to cook, everything's accessible with a slide in, really flexible floor plan. And I love the Jayco warranty that we talk about because it's great. Two years covers all the RV components, three years on structure. Jayco only uses Goodyear tires with a six year warranty. The roofing material up on top is warranted for 10 years. Altogether, it makes for a quality product. Quick note about me I actually grew up in Elkhart County where they build these things. 
And I've personally been an RVer for 56 years. And you say, wait, Mike, how could that be? You're only 55 and a half years old. My mom and dad were going camping when I was in the womb and I've been in RVs ever since. My wife and I have bought some eight, 10 more RVs, all different kinds of RVs. We were actually customers at Vought RV before I worked here. And we had such a good experience. That's why I work here. We've bought Jayco products before because they were good quality. And we were Vought customers um, again before I worked here. Kind of a cool little tidbit. So give me a call again. My name's Mike Drudge here at Vought RV. My contact information is down here. I'd love to chat with you, show you this RV. We've got other HT Eagles out here, as well as larger units and fifth wheels. Give me a call. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vought RV.